We've seen the greatest uh, attacks on Australia Day this year come from the decisions of three uh, inner Melbourne councils to cancel their Australia Day uh, commemorations. Now, they claim that they made uh, these decisions by consulting with their local uh, Indigenous population. But uh, where you're from, uh, Alice Springs, where you're a councillor, um, there's been no move to, you know, cancel Australia Day. And uh, I assume that it's uh, comm commemorated uh, there just like it is in, in most, most of Australia? Yeah, look, um, for Territorians, Australia Day is important to us because we just like to celebrate what it means to be Australian. Um, the positive parts of who we are in the Territory, we actually get on with one another regardless of our backgrounds. We intermarry with one another, you know. We, we, we've got so many mixed heritage, like we've got different family groups, different language groups that intermarry one another that are indigenous, but then we've got white fellows that marry black fellows. Um, you know, if you go further north toward Darwin, we've got, you know, Asian, Aboriginal mix, we've got a big Greek community. We like to get on with things and we don't like the politics of the South to poison the way we do things in the Northern Territory. So issues like, you know, councils changing Australia Day, I mean, I think the the green aligned candidates who got onto council, I don't think they'd be um, willing to bring up that particular issue because I think, considering the results of the last election, um, I I made it very clear that um, as a, as a territorian, as a woman from Alice Springs, who's both black fella and white fella, I would not be. I would be completely against changing um, Australia Day um, if that were if that were brought up within our council, and that's how locals voted. They voted on the fact that they are sick of the nonsense and they just want to get on with things and they don't want Australia Day changed. Um, I know I know how my community thinks and feels and uh, you know this is this is evident in, in the way that they voted me back into uh, the last election. So yeah, you know, we're not looking to try and be virtue signalers. We know what Indigenous issues here in the Territory are everybody's issues. So we're not going to pretend, um, you know, that, you know, the Waifalas in our community aren't going to pretend um, to stand up and be virtue signalers um, to make themselves look good and as if they're doing something for Aboriginal people. Because there are a hell of a lot of white fellas in our communities that work amongst and with and for Aboriginal people and know what the issues are on the ground. And unfortunately for the for the Greens in, in, in the suburbs of Melbourne, well, you, you are completely and utterly removed from the sort of circumstances where the most marginalised Aboriginal people live and changing the day does nothing for them. You are not a hero um, because you've changed the date of Australia Day. Um, yeah, so you can either come up here and get an education, learn more about what goes on for the lives of the most marginalised, um, but I'd say that's probably too hardball for you because the easy way out is to change the date of Australia Day. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.